Jeezy. Jeezy got a divorce. Jeezy, Jeezy, Jeezy got a divorce. And her no, whoa, whoa, whoa. Holy shit. For he didn't get a divorce. He filed he for filed divorce. For the so it's the same thing to me. It hurts my soul. No, hopefully they wreck. Turns out there are more details about their divorce making the rounds. Did y'all y'all know that before they got married, there was that clip of her from her show saying how she wouldn't date a black guy? I, yeah. I remember that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here's the clip he was referring to. But for me, dark meat on the side, white keeps me mean and lean. You know, that's why I, I married white man. That's what I like. Suffice it to say, that was just a taste of what he seemed to have gone through while he was with her. And the words came from Jeezy himself. And I feel like that everyone needs to hear that. It was a little bit of paranoia, uh, a whole lot of post-traumatic stress, a whole lot of trauma, depression, uh, anxiety, all those things. Even the host noticed he was spilling all of the tea. He's a thief. Yeah. Now, my grandmother would say, why are you telling everybody your business? Right. <laughs> While it's a sad reality, several aspects of Jeezy and Jeannie Mai Jenkins' divorce make it far from regular. Besides the obvious fact of the pair being celebrities, it seems there might have been a lot of stress on Jeezy to be a certain way. Now, we all know that marriage involves all kinds of sacrifices for it to truly work out, but it seems that with Jenkins and Jeezy, the rapper might have been the one who had to give up almost everything. Well, seeing as he's now out of the union with Jenkins, it seems he's giving the world details about who the celebrity host truly is as a wife and partner. That's right, Jeezy has now taken to the public stage, just like he did with detailing his life to the public with his book. He's explaining that there's a side to his now former wife that the world seems to have totally missed out on. What's more is that it seems to have taken such a toll on him that his exit was more about saving and securing his mental health than it was about him getting freedom. And now he's not holding back on why that even became his reality in the first place. This whole thing may not have been this much of a big deal if the man wasn't a hardcore rapper but when someone with a life as turbulent as Jeezy's is saying they might have lived through hell with a partner, that will probably be considered a big deal to most. There is also the fact that this man has told the story of his life once before, so much so that he seemed to have had one of best-selling books, so you can bet on it that everyone's listening to him. If you're also on that list, stay tuned till the end. Well, I will say this, the thing that got me on my journey to healing is that I started to learn and understand what I was going through because before that, I actually thought, thought something was wrong with me. Except you're living under an actual rock, there's almost no way in the world you haven't heard about the whirlwind of disasters that just struck the Jeezy Genie My Jenkins household. For the people who have heard about the split between the pair, it almost seems easier to blame Jeezy for how things went down between the pair, but in reality, the case is not as simple as it appears. You see, while in most cases of celebrity splits, the men are usually quiet about what led to the split, and are even the least likely to want the split in the first place, Jeezy seems to be a pioneer. Not only was he the person who wanted the split in the first place, but these days it seems the rapper is also spilling the tea about the sequence of events that led up to their separation in the first place, and suffice it to say those details are ugly. And I didn't know I had trauma. <laughs> I didn't know I was depressed. I didn't know I had anxiety. I didn't know I had post-traumatic stress. I thought these are all the things that we go through. You thought it was normal. But before we get to Jeezy's details, let's carry the people living under a rock along, shall we? Per the news, rapper Jeezy has filed for divorce from TV personality Jeannie Mai Jenkins after two years of marriage. On September 14th, the put-on rapper, whose birth name is J. Wayne Jenkins, filed to end his marriage on Thursday in Georgia's Superior Court of Fulton County. Jeezy files for divorce from Jeannie Mai after two years of marriage. And black women rejoice! Black women what? was dropping clues bombs all across the country. <laughs> According to the filing, the couple has been living in a bona fide state of separation, and their marriage is irretrievable irretrievably broken, with no hope for reconciliation. The pair welcomed their first child together, a daughter, in January 2022. Jeezy and Mai began dating in 2018 and were married in March 2021. Now Jeezy is seeking joint legal custody of their daughter, according to the divorce documents. The two also had a prenuptial agreement that Jeezy expects will be enforced, according to the filing. However, the biggest loan fact in this whole divorce news is that Jeezy didn't actually open up to Jenkins about the divorce. That's right, the man blindsided her, so the only way she seems to have gotten the news about the divorce at the time would have been from the courts. Ouch! Anyway, the news about their divorce had several fans trying to figure out what factors could have been responsible for their union not working out. To some, their cultural differences seemed to be what got in the way of their happiness. The user wrote, clearly they had a cultural indifference. 
Apparently, they didn't have an honest conversation on life's expectations, desires, wants, and needs from one another. Others seem to believe Jeezy might be jumping ship because his eyes have found a new apple. They wrote, Usually when a man is so adamant on cutting off a relationship is because he has eyes or is with someone else. We'll soon find out, mark my words, speaking from experience. Some, however, also believe that Mai might have pushed Jeezy away herself without even realizing it, they wrote. She's fighting to stay married because she doesn't want to be a single mother with a mixed child. That limits her options big time for her next high-value dude. Jeezy felt disrespected by her because she probably reverted back to her independent boss lady ways. That's not gonna fly with a dude like Jeezy. While the possibilities seem to be endless, it turns out this user might have been closer to figuring out the truth about the pair than they realized, as Jeezy seemingly confirmed that Jeannie was indeed the problem in their marriage. Now, my grandmother would say, why are you telling everybody your business? Right. <laughs> According to the rapper, telling his story now seems to be an opportunity for him to be more honest with the general public about some of the struggles of marriage and how perception may not always be reality. Well, because I, I felt in the beginning that I was dishonest. And I learned as I went on that life is about honesty and integrity. And I was very ambitious back then. According to Jeezy, it seems his marriage was far from ideal, as the rapper also touched on having to deal with a lot of mental health issues while he seemingly believed he was trying to save his marriage. However, it seems that he couldn't hold up for much longer, as it might have been the main reason behind the rapper jumping ship. Jeezy's reaction to the whole thing has now left fans with even more questions, as several people have been on their toes trying to figure out what Jeannie could have done to have him not even talk to her about separation before serving her with papers. Turns out the pair had actually been struggling for a long time before the last straw was drawn. We just didn't notice because Jeannie kept trying to paint the family to be in a perfect state, and it seemed to span to the the period before their wedding. You see, before they officially tied the knot, Jeannie had always been vocal about how having G's was the best thing that happened to her. During 2020's pandemic, the celebrity host spoke out about being in the house with her man. We looked at each other at this time of the quarantine like, yup, if we can do this, we are gangster, she told ET at the time. We're doing amazing. She also added, I'm a super introvert, meaning I love quality conversations. I love intimacy. I love thoughtful presence for one another, so this is a dream for me and it allows me to focus on how to support people who need it out there," she added, noting she's learned Jeezy is such an inspiring person to be around. And after they got married, she took it up a notch, so much so that nearly three months after their intimate wedding, Jeannie shared with ET why being married to Jeezy felt 1000% different. Oh my God, married life feels 1000% different than when we were dating in the greatest way, she said at the time. What did you mean? He's got his ways, dude. He 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 was like, Wait, so he but you know what? I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this. We met here on this set, but you gotta hear the story from him because what he said still knocks me away today. I, I loved our dating life because we really spent such concentrated quality time getting to know each other and making sure that we were right for each other. And now being married, it's even more handled with such delicacy and such thoughtfulness because we're in our 40s and we both grew up in households that weren't healthy marriages. We have never seen what that looks like. In fact, it seems that in a bid to maintain this seemingly false perception of reality, Jeannie even planned a whole trip with Jeezy, and you can bet that everyone was watching them while they were at it. Per the news, Jeannie Mai Jenkins had a special surprise in store for her husband Jeezy to celebrate their anniversary. Taking my husband Jeezy to Vietnam was a long-awaited adventure, the TV personality exclusively told People. When Jeezy and I met, we bonded over the similarities and differences of our cultures. Now that we have a daughter blending our worlds, it gives even more meaning to explore Vietnam together as a multicultural family. For Christmas, I had gifted Jay with the surprise that I was taking him to Vietnam. To explain to Jay where I was taking him in Vietnam, I made dioramas. The Real Alum spent a year and a half planning the perfect customized experience just to mark the couple's second wedding anniversary. I actually took a year and a half to plan this trip. Jeezy had no idea where we were going until we boarded the actual plane, she shares. Our trip was very specific in that I wanted to try our hand at everything the locals do, from cooking and fishing to even farming. All I gave my husband was a list of what to pack and the rest of the trip fell into place perfectly. 
Given Mai's character, it's safe to assume she was probably recording these moments as they occurred and sharing them online for fans to see their deep affection for each other. In reality, it appeared they genuinely loved each other, but this might have been what caused their problems in the end. Seeing as Mai had taken the initiative to plan that whole experience, it appears that Jeezy might have been pressured to keep up the standard his wife had already set for her fans. Speaking of fans, the trip with Jeezy had several people gushing about the pair. One fan who seemed particularly intrigued wrote, Listening to how Jeezy proposed to Jeannie Mai. They were supposed to be holidaying in Vietnam, but lockdown, he set up his house in the theme Vietnam. Imagine the detailing, the decor, the lighting, the food, the music. Ladies never settle, period, T T. However, several other people also revealed that they noticed some strange things while the couple were on the trip, and just like the people gushing, they also weren't quiet. One person wrote, Nah, but that video Jeannie posted of them in Vietnam, and she walks out on the balcony, and Jeezy jumped and hit his phone had me curious since that very moment. Another user who also noticed how Jeezy didn't seem like himself on the trip wrote, IDK how celebs do it. Jenny Mai went to Vietnam WW Jeezy and people in her comments really making it a race thing and saying he didn't look happy being there. It's Vietnam, a third world country. It's culture shock. It's a lot to get used to. It almost seems like this might be the foundation of things between them had gone from bad to worse, but the somewhat unusual part is that Jeannie seems to have seen it coming. Here's why I think so. Hand to heart, I swear, any woman who has been divorced in that year, you know. You have red flags if it's not going to work. I did. Besides the fact that Jeannie might have been overbearing, another explanation that seems to be making rounds about why the pair broke up is that Jeannie might have cheated on Jeezy. If you've been following the celebrity gossip lately, you might have heard some shocking rumors about Jeannie and Mario Lopez. The two TV hosts, who have been friends for years, were accused of having an affair behind their spouses' backs. The scandal erupted after Jeezy filed for divorce earlier this month. The talks of Jeannie and Mario's affair started after some fans noticed their chemistry and closeness on screen. Jeannie was a guest co-host on Mario's show, Access Hollywood, for a week in September. During that time, they shared some flirty moments and jokes, and Mario even kissed Jeannie's daughter Monaco on the cheek. This had people talking. One person wrote, I mean, why is Mario touching her? Keep your hands to yourself, no need to cuddle on screen. You can both do your job standing next to each other without arms around waist. He was being unprofessional. Just like this user mentioned being unprofessional, other fans also pointed out that Mario liked some comments on Instagram that suggested he and Jeannie had a thing going on. However, sources close to Jeannie and Mario have denied the rumors and said there is absolutely no truth to any infidelity between them. They said that Jeannie and Mario are just good friends and nothing more. They also said that Jeannie is devastated and heartbroken over her split with Jeezy and hopes they can work things out. Mario, for his part, has been married to Courtney Lane Mazza since 2012, and they have three children together. He has not addressed the rumors publicly, but he has posted some photos with his wife and kids on social media. Jeannie has also not commented on the details of the affair or her divorce, but she has posted some inspirational quotes on Instagram. One of them said, You can't control everything. Sometimes you just need to relax and have faith that things will work out. Let go a little and just let life happen. While it's clear that the denial of the cheating allegations didn't come from Jeannie herself, it's not very far-fetched to think she truly cheated on Jeezy, because she's actually said some pretty dark things in the past. Here's what I mean by dark things. But for me, dark mean on the side, white keeps me mean and lean, you know? That's why I, I married white man. That's what I like. Besides outrightly saying she's not attracted to black men enough to make them her husband, she's also compared Jeezy to her ex before on her show. In 2019, Mai was brought to tears during an episode of The Real while comparing her relationship with Jeezy to her previous marriage with ex-husband Freddie Hartice. My own standards were low, Mai told her co-hosts. We can go into a whole counseling session on why I only gave myself the bare minimum, Mai said before adding that she's not solely placing the blame on Hartice. I am not blaming my ex for the things that he barely came through to do. Mai, who has been open and honest about her tumultuous divorce from Hartice, shared, When Hartice said things like, good for you, or that's cool, I'm like, that's great, he supports me. That, to me, is my standard of support. However, the show host revealed that it wasn't until she began dating Jeezy that she realized she deserved more. You can blame your exes, but just be mindful of your standards, Mai warned the audience. She later explained that she also had an epiphany as she spent time alone following her split from Hard Ice.
Sometimes being alone in that time I took for myself was my upgrade, she added. Jeezy was Mai's first relationship since her divorce from husband Hartai's after 10 years of marriage. You know, so you had it. So I had it, but nobody it ever nobody ever called me out on it. Also in my line of work, sometimes being a boss isn't so isn't so great for you. Although their relationship wasn't public knowledge at the time, the couple began quietly dating in the late fall of 2018. According to People, they met on the set of Mai's daytime talk show, The Real. Speaking of The Real, one of Jeannie's former co-hosts on the show has now stepped into the case, and she seems to have some first-hand knowledge of Jeannie's marriage. That may not exactly be public information. According to the document viewed by Billboard, the filing states that the former pair are currently living in a bona fide state of separation. The rapper also states that the marriage is irretrievably broken, with no hope for reconciliation. However, Tamar Braxton seems to have a seemingly more plausible explanation for what happened between the pair, and we all know there's nothing people love more than insider information. According to the entertainer, there are only a couple of reasons a man leaves his wife. Whatever the case may be, Braxton believes if a man is done, the relationship is really over. The songstress spoke about her former co-host's pending divorce during a recent segment on Dish Nation. The Love & War artist first addressed fellow panelist Jesse Wu, who laughed at the breakup news and said, Why do you find this funny? My heart breaks for Jeannie. Jesse Wu, who is also a media personality, explained she doesn't feel sympathy for Jeannie Mai because of previous comments she made about seemingly preferring white men over black men. However, it seems that might have only been Braxton's intro, as she got a little more raw down the line. Although it was reported that the rapper cited certain specific reasons for why the marriage couldn't work, the Braxton Family Values star continued and said, There's two reasons why a man leaves his wife or files for divorce. Number one is another woman pushing him to do it, or number two is something real foul went down. The musician noted again that she feels bad for Jeannie and believes the TV star was truly in love with the rapper. Neither Jeannie nor Jeezy have directly addressed their split at this time, but he did say this in a recent interview. Following reports of the divorce, however, the put-on artist took to Instagram and shared a few solo photos with the caption. Too focused on who I'm becoming to focus on who's not coming with me. Braxton's claims about her old co-star's marriage came as a shock to a lot of people, not just because they thought she was friends with Jeannie Mai, but also because she had praised their relationship on social media in the past. These days, however, people are saying she might be right about what's happening with Jeannie's marriage. One person wrote, Tamar is true to form. When they both were hosts on The Real, Jeannie Mai always struggled with authenticity, and Tamar used to call her out on it. In this case, Tamar was doing her job, and technically, she was right. So far, it doesn't seem like there's enough information about what exactly led to Jeezy and Jeannie parting ways, but if everybody is pointing to Jeannie as the problem, then maybe, just maybe it's actually her fault. We'll find out in time. That's it for this video, goodbye.